Welcome to Woodland Gardens, a development of 90 houses in Pyle near Porthcawl. The builders, Persimmon Homes, describe it as tranquil, idyllic and ideal for families. When the final house was completed in March 2017, the residents were looking forward to living in a picture-perfect setting. We were told that it would be a really nice um, communal environment for children to live in. So it's supposed to be like nice green bits with trees, nice roads, nice paths. You look at the plan and you see a lovely big green area and uh, actually you think, oh actually I want a house there. When Andrew Llewellyn bought his house in 2016, he was excited by the location, especially the promised views of open green spaces. They showed us the plans, they showed us the, the garden, they showed us outside and they promised that when um, the site is complete and we'll have this lovely area outside our property. What was the reality when you moved in? When all the buildings were done, nothing really happened. Everything seemed to stagnate. This was Andrew's green open space and the roads and pavements were just as bad. Persimmon had got, come in, had built all the houses, had got all our money, and then nothing. They just didn't seem to care after that last house was complete and sold. When a new estate is built, the building company normally enters into what's known as a Section 38 agreement, where the local authority agrees to adopt, or rather look after, the upkeep of the roads once the development is finished. But if the roads are not completed, then the council will not take them on, and the residents are left in limbo. And this is what they're living with. Huge potholes, missing surfaces and broken curbstones, damaging cars and, in some cases, causing injury. I'm going for a walk around the estate to see it for myself. Lumps of tarmac, drains. I'm sure they didn't mean to put a speed ramp here, but they've kind of got one anyway. If you've got a, a sort of little one, who's not terribly steady on their feet, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for you. You've lost a massive section of tarmac, which is gone, and they've filled it in with this kind of... I don't know, what would you call that? It's like soil and chippings. The road is not there, is it? It's not a road. So I can see why people are really fed up of having to put up with this for so long. Dozens of residents say they've repeatedly complained to Persimmon and can't understand why it's taking so long to finish the estate. I said we feel abandoned by them. It's like driving home over a car track every time you come into the place. You dare not drive any more than about five miles an hour or you will damage your car. Even though I go slowly and try and take it careful, it still damages, it ends up damaging the car. This is the uh, curbstone that comes off every single time I reverse onto the drive. It kicks out and slaps the bottom of my car. And how long has it been like that? About two years. This corn appeared one day, a few months ago, because they have been raising the drains. However, they raised the drains, put the corn on and took off. And that's it. The shocking state of the pavements and roads is affecting family life too. My daughter has a ride-on vehicle which we can't use in this because it's so bumpy, the wheels won't get over it. You know, this Christmas now we'd, we'd like to buy her a scooter and a, a bike and she won't be able to go out on this. It's, um, it's rubbish to be honest. Some people are so fed up they want to move out, but that is easier said than done. Two months now the house has been on the market. Um, and because of the state of the road, we are completely unable to sell it. We've had one or two viewings and they say, uh, despite the house being lovely, they don't want to be dealing with the road. It's just not a happy place to live with the roads being so bad. But what's made residents really cross is that Persimmon has handed over the management of the site to a company called Remus, who began billing homeowners £140 a year for the upkeep of the lawns and public spaces. Even though when it rains, they look like this. We were flabbergasted 
we're absolutely flabbergasted. It's just really, you know, kind of um, put salt in the wounds. It makes you so angry, and you know there's people out there that can come in and finish the site. We all try and complain at the same time. You know, we do it so we think that they'll listen to us, but they never do. They never do. So, people living here at Woodland Gardens are really not happy. Rachel's with me. And um, what are Persimmons saying about this? So, they have apologised to homeowners for the considerable inconvenience caused by exceptional circumstances beyond their control. They say that's due to their contractor, Cuddy, going into receivership over the summer. Persimmon say they are committed to resolving all of the issues and they are in regular contact with the residents here. As for paying Remus to manage the open spaces, they say those charges were always made clear. Going forward, they say there will be opportunities for residents to become directors so they can have a say over how these open spaces are looked after. OK, so the big question is, have Persimmon appointed a new contractor to finish the work? I am pleased to say that that has happened and we have seen it for ourselves. Just days after we wrote to Persimmon, we were here at Woodland Gardens and we witnessed workers tidying up, filling in bottles, repairing pavements and the residents say they're delighted that things are finally looking up. That is fantastic news. But is this a one-off? Because there are lots of new housing developments springing up all the time at the moment. There were more than 6,000 new homes built in Wales in the 12 months up until June. Now, we don't have official figures for the number of complaints, but in recent years, we've received plenty of emails from viewers about issues around unadopted roads and pavements on new estates. So, if people aren't happy, what can they do? Unfortunately, the National House Building Council, or the NHBC guarantee, only applies to new homes, not to the wider developments. At the moment, all that you can really do is to keep complaining in writing, and that's really important to your developer. Get together as a group, get together with your neighbours and do it. One thing I would say is take photos and videos so you have evidence of the problem. But there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Well, two, actually. The Welsh Government recently set up a task force to look at problems around unadopted roads, and earlier this month, the UK Government announced a new homes ombudsman. All new developers will have to sign up, and it's designed to give homeowners access to an independent complaints procedure. We haven't had the full details yet, but hopefully, when it comes into force, it'll be a move in the right direction. OK, Rachel, thanks so much. And don't forget, if there's anything you'd like us to investigate, please do get in touch. You can give us a call or drop us an email. The contact details are on your screen now.